All right, first thing we do is pick out our site and dig a very long trench to it, 24 inches deep for direct burial cable or 18 if in conduit. And here is our site. We are doing two rows of seven ground mount. We'll be putting down 700 pound railroad tie, concrete railroad ties to mount the array to and uh, the wire will pop up out of the ground right there where the trench stops. The trench is going to the house there. And you'll want to get yourself a bobcat with some forks on it for downloading off of the semi when it shows up. Speak of the devil, that looks like a semi with some concrete railroad ties right there. But, better late than never. cement uh, there's a chemical reaction in there and over time it causes the aluminum to become real brittle and uh, it can break so you want to do is uh, use floor laminate or uh, old rubber uh, that you can easily cut in little pieces and you take this and put it directly underneath your uh, connection here Sometimes you get a bad bolt or a bad hole and you gotta cut it off and start again. Sometimes every battery you have is always dead. onto the rail and then go underneath the, the main rail and tighten down and hold the rail in place. Pretty nifty. <coughs> hey, 
there's a there's another way to dig a trench. This is the way. grounds, the weeb ground lugs, but the T-bolts that come with the S-Flex are bigger than that. So this needs to get through here. We have to drill these out. Now with our ground lugs all drilled out and done, we can install them. We have to have one on each side of the splice, here and here. And then we put copper between it, panel back down. The end clamps are much like the mid clamps except you have to tighten them to uh, uplift them and then loosen them to actually tighten it. system if we turn this on and the 20 amp dual pole feed breaker in the uh, box. 